Hello and welcome back to Anton Math. Now in this video we're going to learn about, or uh, review if that may be the case, about exponents. And here I made a little definition. There's some things I can't type in my program here, so I'll read it out for you. I know it's a little bit blurry, but we're going to talk about exponents. Now if a is a non-negative integer, x to the power of a is defined as being x multiplied to itself a times. Okay, so in other words, I have x to the a is equal to x times x times x dot dot dot, right, times x, where I have a total x's being multiplied to each other, okay? And this definition, this is all I'm going to use here, this is all I'm going to need, and we're going to talk about um, three important properties that are really going to help us out with the algebra um, of these exponents. So let's take a look. We have three properties. And we'll go ahead and derive them real quick. Right? If we have x to the a times x to the b, this is b, right? Using our definition up here, well, that's x multiplied to itself a times times x multiplied to itself b times right for a grand total of x multiplied to itself a plus b times right so we have this result x to the a times x to the b is equal to x to the a plus b Okay, now we have our next property, and that's going to be um, taking the power of a power or, or putting an exponent over an exponent. If I have this uh, x to the a, and I raise that whole thing up to the b power, right? By our definitions here, inside the parentheses, I'm going to do inside the parentheses first, right? That's x multiplied to itself a times, all raised to the b power. And now I'm going to use my definition of exponent again. right? What this exponent b means is that I'm going to take everything in this parentheses and multiply that to itself b times. right? So I have this x times x, right? a of those, and I'm going to do it again. I have a of those, and I'm going to do my dot, dot, dot over here. Right, so I'm multiplying together all of these x to the a's, and let's count them, one, two, we're going all the way to, there's going to be b total of them, right? I'm just reapplying my definition again. So that's going to be the same as x to the a b times, so x to the a times b. Okay, so when we multiply two numbers that have exponents, two of the same number that have exponents, that's the same as adding those exponents together. And when I take a power of something with an exponent, that's the same as multiplying the exponents together. All right, now this last little property that I want to derive out here, uh, let's just say we have x, y to the power a, right? Now this is probably familiar. We know we can distribute this, but just using our definition, let's go ahead and see why that's okay. Um, by our definition, this is the same as x, y times x, y times x, y, right? Going all the way until I have a sets of x, y. Now, we know that multiplication is associative here. So I know that x, y is equal to y, x. Right? What that means is I can, I can kind of bring all of these x's all the way to the left and push all of the y's all the way to the right. right? So I'm going to get all of these x's multiplied to each other. I had a, x, y's, so I have a, x's. I have a, x, y, so I have a, y's. So this is just going to be x to the a times uh, y to the a. Right? We've kind of gone backwards from where we were up here in a certain sense, but we're using two variables here, so it's a little bit different. Okay, so let's summarize what we have here. We have uh, x to the a times x to the b 
is going to be equal to x to the a plus b. We have that x to the a all to the power b is equal to x to the a times b and we have that xy to the a is equal to x to the a times y to the a. Now I have two uh, other little definitions that we have. We, we also define if I have x to a negative a that's going to be equal to 1 over x to the positive a. Okay, so a negative exponent um, we define as the reciprocal of that positive exponent and we always define that x to the 0 equals 1 and that's for all x, right? Right, so it's basically saying if we multiply x by itself 0 times we're saying that that equals 1. 1's kind of our um, kind of our base in multiplication, right? I'll call it our unit in multiplication. So all of these, um, I put all these together up here because I want to do some examples real quick. And really I'm, I'm deriving these to build up to our next section which is where more students have some trouble and that's logarithms. Um, so it's important to kind of cover these bases here. Um, it makes the flow into logarithms a little bit easier. But let's do some examples um, just so we can use these properties. Let's say I want to simplify all of these. So let's say I have x to the fifth over x squared. Well, by my property over here, x squared is the same as x to the negative 2, right? So it's x to the fifth times x to the negative 2. And then from my first property, this is going to be the same as x to the 5 plus negative 2, or in other words, x to the 3. Now I know this is a review for a lot of you, but it's just a good reminder that when we have these exponents, it kind of simplifies down to here. And this is why. This is where um, all of this basic algebra comes from. All right, let's do a little bit of hard one. Let's say I have 3x to the a times 5x to the b quantity squared. All right now, first I want to use uh, this third property here to. Uh, to distribute this squared. So this is going to be 3x to the a and then I distribute this square in, so this is 5 squared times x to the b squared. All right. So now I need to use a couple of properties. I have this 3x to the a times the quantity 5 squared is just 25. right? And I know that from my second property x to the b squared is x to the 2b. Now I can reassociate, so this is going to be the same as 3 times 25 times x to the a times x to the 2b. 3 times 25 is 75, and now I can use my first property again, x to the a times x to the 2b is x to the a plus 2b. Okay, so we've simplified it down. So those are just a couple of examples. Um, I know this is a bit of a review, so uh, go ahead and, and uh, make sure to try some of these on your own. It's very important to be extremely comfortable with these, you know, as we make this transition to uh, higher mathematics. Now, in the next video, I'm going to take these exponents and I'm going I'm to go over the inverse of the exponential laws, and that's going to be going over the logarithms and um, the logarithm properties that we have, and we'll see you there.